Hey guys, what's up? Happy Wednesday. Wanted to jump on. It's like I haven't been live on my personal page in a little bit, so wanted to come say hi to you guys as you jump on. Make sure you say hi. I'll give everyone a second here, and then we'll talk about all the things. So hey, say hello. It's rainy here in Southern California, which is always a fun. Um, I'm like snuggled up in my blanket, and I laugh because I'm like, thank God I work from a place where you can only see me from this half up because half the time I'm in like the craziest sweatpants, and I'm in like this massive big blanket around me. <clears throat> and it's just always always a hot mess. So as you guys jump on, say hi. I'm going to share this inside of my Facebook group, Burnout to Breakthrough. If you guys aren't inside of there, I will make sure to tag it. So we're going to talk about all the things. So say hi as you, um, you guys jump on. But I'm going to be talking about tonight like some of the big massive shifts that I had in my business this year because this year has just been crazy things have went up like 300 400 percent and it's been wild and it's been amazing to be a part of and i wanted to share this a lot of the breakthroughs that i had with you guys and it was really fun tonight um i just got off a client call with one of my amazing client clients amy hi connie hi kate um and then before that i was on a call with my mastermind girls and we were talking about two things that we kind of all had the realization about and um because everyone was kind of coming from this different angle and then we all realized a few things together that one we're so freaking hard on ourselves with all the things um because one of the women we we're talking about how you know about like content and their copy and then the other uh, another girl was like no but yours is amazing and then we and we all kind of had this moment of like we have to stop being so freaking hard on ourselves because we all do so many things every single day and we have to own it we have to like be proud and the second thing is is we all still need somebody to be there and be our guide and help us and lead us through the different things that we're going on in life no matter if you're the expert in something it's important to have that person there that's guiding you that's why I'm a big believer of having a coach like I have a coach in my business I work with somebody for my health like I have coaches and all the things even some of my coaches who are coaches have people that help them in different areas of their life too so it's just something that we were kind of talking about tonight and um, on our call before we jumped on here so I thought it was kind of a good segue into sharing with you guys some of the big changes and the big shifts that um, happened for me in my business and so the big thing that changed for me this year was I stopped playing by all the shoulds because it's really easy when you're a coach or you are building an online business to watch what everybody else is doing and do what everybody else tells you to do or feeling that you have to do something a certain way that you have to have an opt-in that leads to a landing page that leads to this and a Facebook ad and all the things and guess what like there's more than one way to do something and it has to feel good in a way that feels really good to you. So for me, I was like, I'm tired of making things like overly complicated or difficult or feeling that there needed to be 8 million steps or that I had to launch in a specific way or that I couldn't launch more than, you know, two times a quarter or whatever it was. And I stopped playing by all of that because it was holding me back from doing things that felt good and being able to share and show up in the way that I wanted to show up because I'm like, that's my whole purpose is to put out amazing content every single day to guide people to do live videos, to bring value inside of my podcast my group all the places and to launch on the back end of that too and be able to take people on a level that's working deeper with me working with me one-on-one -on -one, working inside of a group program and I was like I I want to make this easier and I want to make it more fun and I want to make it more flowy instead of feeling like burnt out in the launching process or building or whatever that was so I really stopped playing by all the rules and things started to explode, which was amazing. Um, and my business was doing great before, but just allowing myself that permission that things, I don't have to do things the way that everybody else is doing. And I don't have to do this a certain way. Like I can just have a link and that's what it is. And making it a lot less of you know, a million steps for yourself and being able to focus on the things that you actually want to do in your business and the things that light you up instead of the things that are weighing you down or holding you back from being able to do the next thing that, that you want to do. Um, so that was a big thing for me. I'm like, I want this to be easy. I want it to be fun. I want it to make an impact and I want it to feel good for me and not feel like so much work or feeling that I needed to be everywhere all the time. And th that's kind of like the second thing that's a really shifted for me over the past year was like, I really lessened the grip that I had on my business. And I was the type of person in the past, um, 
if I had a free moment, I was working on my business. If I had a free hour, I was working on my business. And it was like I had to constantly be working on my business and I couldn't let it go. I had to respond to every message within five seconds. And, um, you know, that's something still that I, I constantly work on is that. But letting myself let go of the fact that I need to always be doing something because we build these businesses because we want freedom we want fun we want to be able to do things that feel good on our terms and knowing that it's like I didn't build a business so I could constantly be working or I could constantly be doing all the things it was so I had that freedom and I could focus on the things that I love to do which is coaching working with people in group programs putting out amazing content getting on live video podcasting and being able to operate more so in my zone of genius so I let go of that need of always needing to be working game. And if you feel like that, it, you hit a burnout point with it. And you're just like, I can't do this anymore. So that's kind of where I had gotten up until last year. And this year being able to shift that of, you know what, like, I don't always need to be doing something taking way less, you're taking way more things off of my to do list and just focusing on a few different things every day that were going to make such a difference in my business. And that felt good um, was the best thing. And the, the other kind of piece with that too, is I integrated the most celebration, the most fun, the most play, the most pleasure, the most orgasmic manifestation, all things <laughs> when it comes to pleasure and fl play and fun into my business this year. And that's how, you know, we're able to up level and that's how we're able to take things to the next level. And it's like the ultimate form of manifestation is celebration and having fun and you know being more open and not making things so difficult and I celebrate every dang thing every single day and allowing myself to take breaks and have fun and integrate kind of tap more into that like flowy feminine energy and experience pleasure in my business and just walking away from doing everything and I love to integrate my life and my business and my clients everything together like they're not separate entities to me because I am fully embodied in my brain and like how I show up for my brand every single day. Like I'm asking myself, like, is this something that I, you know, want? And the the types of experiences that I created are things that I wish I had, and the things that I wish that I, you know, went through as I was, you know, growing into my coaching business. So it's like those relationships that I had with my clients. It's like that's what I wanted. And of course, you know, investing in my own business was huge this year. I've been doing that for years, but continuing to do that constantly, it's like that learning period is never over. It's never like okay, like now we're good it's like we have to constantly go um to that next level so the, speaking of like going to the next level one of the other things that I have done my entire life is chasing goals like I love goals super you know goal oriented um you know if we do like strengths finder and things like that I'm the type of person that's like uh futuristic achiever focus discipline relater like my top five strengths and I'm like goals 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 like what's next what's next what's next and this year, I really started to operate from a different place is when it comes to as far as like my goals go and stop stopping like chasing the next thing and I made more decisions from where I wanted to be but I lived in the present moment of where I was at right now and being able to take all that in and not always wondering what's next or what do I need to be doing or how should I be showing up or are things perfect letting go on that and those those shifts were were everything because I was able to celebrate in that moment I was able to allow myself just to breathe to lessen that grip and to just be so proud of everything that I had accomplished rather than needing that the next thing was going to be the big thing and I think that's something that we do um, quite often if you're kind of in that overachiever mindset it's like okay I gotta go on to the next thing I gotta go on to the next thing because we think the next thing is going to be the thing that changes everything in reality we can't figure out why and never feels like enough it's because we have to be grateful for that we have to celebrate that we have to own that and then allowing ourselves to ask for more than just enough and I think that was like the biggest balance for me this year was like being grateful celebrating and then asking for more than just enough and um and you know all the things that I wanted to do and in my money mindset like those were all some of the most major shifts that I had this year like the shifts and the beliefs I ever had around money and I had around debt and I had around selling and launching that all has to shift and we constantly think that there's something that we need to be doing in our business that's going to change everything and we operate in our mentality of like what do I need to do how do I need to show up what should I be doing what should I be doing when it comes to this or to that and yes like that's a lot of heavy strategy which you need when growing a business but to kind of encompass all of the things I talked about tonight 
the biggest shift that happened for me it was when I focused on the person that I wanted to become and that's where I dove into all of my time and so like those things that I talked about with like the should lessening the grip um, chasing the goals that was the person that I needed to become because it didn't matter that I had you know the perfect email sequence or I had that the freemium set up or I had the Facebook group or I had the thing like we have to become an energetic match for all those things so then that way the clients can flow in it's stepping into your power it's you know making those decisions from where you want to be it's being able to own the things that you're doing it's being able to have you know have boundaries in your business and being powerful being unwavering in what you want showing up every single day in that consistency but most of the time we focus on what should I be doing what should I be doing what should I be doing instead of focusing on who we need to become in order to do the things and then have what we want to have we kind of focus on that almost in like this opposite way like when I have it then I'll do it and then I'll become it so to bring all that back together the big thing was who I needed to become for all the strategies, all the things that I was doing to really explode, honestly. And it's been such an amazing thing to watch, even like month to month, just seeing things grow and seeing the shifts within my clients and seeing the shifts within my clients' clients. And it's so fun to be a part of that and to experience that. And I wanted to share that with you guys because there's different breakthroughs that we have constantly and I always try to be really open and real and honest because this this year was crazy like halfway through the year so many things changed for me I moved into a new apartment and went through a breakup I um, you know shifted into a whole different mindset I hired um, my coach and then I hired a coach again and I was working with the coaches before that and it's always been this constant compound effect but if I waited until like the timing was right or if I waited till I had the money or whatever it was it would have held me back and those are usually like the two biggest things that we go through when we're wanting to go into that next level in our business. And it's like if you're going to have the breakdown, it's like use it as a breakthrough. Not that you always need a breakdown to go through a breakthrough, but you get you put yourself in that position or if you're in that position, you have the two choices. You either let it define you or you're saying this is how I'm going to take shit to the next level. This is going to be my fire. This is what's going to light things up. And you run with that energy of like, I can do anything that I want to do and I can make things happen just because I am, just because it's me and that's an amazing thing to do and that's why I love doing what I do because I know that it's possible for so many people that feel stuck or feel overwhelmed or feel like they've been doing everything for so long but they're maybe not receiving the money that they want to receive or receiving the clients that they want to see receive. Like, I know it can happen because I built it and I've done that. And I wanted to share that with you guys because I wanted to be completely just honest and real and raw about the things that really shifted for me. It's kind of like the expedited version of everything. But yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying your Wednesday. And I am excited because I'm starting the Rise and Receive program. I was like, what is today? Uh, on the 10th on Monday. So I'm going to be talking about a lot of these different things I talked about on tonight's live where you're mapping out your business vision for 2019. That's something that I love to do. Um, but also focusing on like your mindset around money and receiving and all of that because those two things tie in together. Like having that plan and that bigger vision and working on who I needed to be able to become in order to match that vision and also bringing in the money mindset like those were some of the three biggest powerful things that I did and so I'm bringing that in that training so it's 11 days it's amazing if you guys have questions about it or you want to jump inside just send me the message I will get you set up it's gonna be a live group coaching so um, if you're kind of really struggling with like I need to get back into the swing of things with my business or I just need to strategize for the next year I need it all laid out I know I need to work on my money mindset. I know that, you know, maybe I'm not where I'm at financially with my business and I need a plan to get there. Then this is going to be that program that helps you go from feeling like kind of stuck and overwhelmed and then allowing yourself to rise and receive being powerful and owning it. But it has to start now. If you guys saw my post the other day, I talked about when you're driving and you're getting ready to make a turn, you don't start, you know, you don't turn right when you're at the corner. You start preparing yourself for that turn as you're getting there. And if you have a bigger vehicle, if you're driving a semi, like you have to start turning even earlier. That's why I'm not starting this program in January. I'm starting this program in December because you have to start wrapping your mindset around what you need to do now in your business and having that plan so you can hit January 
running. And this is not the time that, you know, we slow down in our business. It's the time where we speed up. We take a lot of that energy, a lot of that end of the year fire, and we bring it into the new year. So again, that's Rise and Receive. It'll be starting on Monday. So I'm excited. It's 11 days. It's uh, intensive, but you will have those shifts and those breakthroughs, and you'll be able to end out the year feeling like, all right, I'm ready to do the damn thing, and I'm ready to shift into that next level. So if you guys have questions about it, let me know. Thanks for all of you that have been jumping on. I am going to go take Z-O-U-T because it's rainy and he's just lying here. So love you guys. Thanks for jumping on and we'll chat soon.